So let's welcome our next governor, John. Thank you, Jeb, and thank you, my good friend, Chuck Morris, as well. Um, and everybody that's here, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. My friends, my uh, former colleagues, uh, representatives and senators that I have the utmost respect for, and the people of this state, this great state of New Hampshire. Ladies and gentlemen, our state is broke. We are on the brink of bankruptcy. We developed our rainy day fund to pay for last year's, or we depleted our rainy day fund to pay for last year's overspending. We are looking at a $250 million deficit in this fiscal year. The urgent question is, what do we do about it? We need immediate action to get our fiscal house in order, and we do not need more job-killing taxes. It's time for a problem solver as governor. And that is why I have filed my intention and committee to run for governor in the state of New Hampshire today. I've been a successful prosecutor, Homeland Security coordinator, department head, and I have a sharp budget cutting knife. <laughs> My record is crystal clear, and when it comes to making government more efficient and protecting our taxpayers, you know where I stand. I know how to get results because I've done it in different state agencies in the state of New Hampshire. I've also spent the last two years working with my great partner Jay Lucas and my other partners making sure that we could bring the same type of fiscal responsibility, efficiency, and savings for taxpayers for three other governors. My fiscal conservatism and my New Hampshire values come from my New Hampshire roots. Those are the values I would bring to governor or to the governor's office in New Hampshire. I grew up in this state. I was born here. I love New Hampshire. My wife and my two girls enjoy this state. We, we, they're involved in sports. I was involved in sports. I went to the University of New Hampshire. I want to preserve the great qualities of this state. And that's why I'm running for governor. Because we need a change on the, at the top. We need to make sure we have a governor that's decisive, that takes action on behalf of the taxpayers of our state. We need a governor that's not afraid to make those tough and difficult decisions. I've done it. You know, it's not that easy to say no, but you have to do it at times, and you're not going to make everyone happy. From our rising joblessness to the job-killing LLC tax on small businesses, we need a leader who will set a clear path and set an unequivocal message that we cannot keep passing new taxes on our businesses and our citizens and expect that we in New Hampshire are going to be able to create jobs. I cannot stress this enough. That's why I will not rest until this new LLC tax is repealed. Hey, hey, hey. In fact, I will call on the governor and Governor Lynch and the legislative leaders, the minority and majority, to work together immediately to repeal this LLC job-killing income tax on our small businesses. Immediately. As governor, I will bring new ideas. I will bring new ideas that people will agree maybe not agree, but new ideas that will bring this state back to the road of fiscal responsibility. I won't stand for new taxes that are hidden as fees in driving up the cost of doing business here in New Hampshire. I will not stand for fees that are hidden, that hurt our families 
and individuals that are going to register their vehicles, individuals that are going to restaurants to eat, to, that are families that need to make sure that our state is working for them, not against them. I promise you, I will lead efforts to cut taxes on our businesses and create jobs here and not pass new taxes that drive our employees and employers away from the campus. <laughs> I was struck a few weeks back when the Tax Foundation gave a presentation here to the legislature. And there were two things that struck me in that presentation. Nonpartisan association, and their report and presentation showed that one out of every six New Hampshire residents that are working are employed outside the state of New Hampshire. They are leaving every day to find jobs outside the state of New Hampshire. I work in Boston with my partner Jay, and I know I drive down 93 almost every day, and I see the congestion, I see the traffic. I see the, the thousands and thousands of cars leaving New Hampshire every day to work in Massachusetts. My vision is to see those same cars coming back to New Hampshire where there's great jobs, where people are, businesses are thriving, and people are enjoying the great quality of life that this state has to offer. And we can do it. Let me tell you, we can do it. The next issue is, we are 50th, according to the Tax Foundation, dead last in terms of the business tax climate in states. The highest business tax climate of all states in the United States of America. That is not a good sign. That is not a New Hampshire value. That is not a New Hampshire advantage, and we need to change. We cannot have a toll on I-93. Not to mention the fact that I drive that every day. I know I see numerous vehicles, owners of companies, leaving New Hampshire, going to businesses. And can you imagine how destructive that would be to our economy and our ability to grow jobs? So as, as governor, the first thing I would do is simply tell my commissioner, you're going to withdraw that request immediately. not, many of you know me, I would travel to Washington and tear it up myself. It's that simple. We need decisive leadership, not someone that can't make a decision while citizens have to have a meeting. Last night in Salem, 50, 60 individuals show up at a meeting because we don't know where the governor stands on I-93. It's wrong. Over the coming weeks, I will be laying out my views on many of the issues that we face in our state and offering solutions that will make New Hampshire great again. I don't need on-the-job training. I've been there. I've done it. I know a lot of people say, you know, Governor Lynch has this popularity. Well, you know, that popularity makes no difference to that individual that doesn't have a job. And all we need to do is work together to make sure we can cut spending, lower taxes, and create new jobs in the state. <laughs> and to me, that's the answer. I can't wait to hear what the voters are thinking. I can't wait to share my ideas on how we can make a change for the better. I can't wait. Thank you again for being here. I truly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. This is a great state of New Hampshire. We can make it greater. We can make sure we bring back the quality of life that we see we're starting to lose to make sure we continue to have low taxes. Low taxes are the result of decisive leadership, fiscal responsibility, and making sure we all work together to help every individual and family in this state. And we're gonna do it, and we're gonna do it together. <laughs>